This is section 103 of Mark Twain Speeches by Mark Twain. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. The St. Louis Harbor Boat, Mark Twain, by Mark Twain. Read by John Greenman. The Countess de Rochambeau christened the St. Louis Harbor Boat, Mark Twain, in honor of Mr. Clemens, June 6, 1902. Just before the luncheon, he acted as pilot. Lower away, lad! boomed out the voice of the pilot. "'Mark Twain, quarter five and one-half six feet,' replied the leadsman below. "'You are all dead safe as long as I have the wheel, but this is my last time at the wheel.' At the luncheon, Mr. Clemens made a short address. First of all, no. Second of all, I wish to offer my thanks for the honor done me by naming this last rose of summer of the Mississippi Valley for me, this boat which represents a perished interest, which I fortified long ago, but did not save its life. And, in the first place, I wish to thank the Countess de Rochambeau for the honor she has done me in presiding at this christening. I believe that it is peculiarly appropriate that I should be allowed the privilege of joining my voice with the general voice of St. Louis and Missouri in welcoming to the Mississippi Valley and this part of the continent these illustrious visitors from France. When La Salle came down this river a century and a quarter ago, there was nothing on its banks but savages. He opened up this great river, and by his simple act was gathered in this great Louisiana territory. I would have done it myself for half the money. End of The St. Louis Harbor Boat, Mark Twain By Mark Twain Read by John Greenman